Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sunday Chat with there. How you doing? Hopefully you've had a good week. I've had a really busy week, insane week, um, mainly work-related, but um, kind of channel-related. You can sort of see it over that shoulder right there. In fact, here, let's see. Watch out for the ride. Whee! All right, so there, and then if I look down, look at all that. There's some, actually, come here, camera. Uh, come here, camera. There. There is literally Lego everywhere. You can't really see behind me. Oh, there they are. See, there's some on the ground over there. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Lego week. <laughs> I've been working on the Legos so that I can show them to you. i got to build them first, as literally I have. Lots, thousands upon thousands of Legos, and um, there's no way I could build them on screen. There's no way. Um, I'm literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eleven sets I'm working on right now at the same time. <laughs> it's like one of those I'm build it, and then I get to a point where I'm like, I can't find this one piece. I'll go build this other set over here, and then, as with Lego, you. Don't look for the piece and you find the piece. And I'm like, oh, I have found the piece. So that's, oh, 12, because I forgot about that one over there. There's an airplane. Oh, I'm pointing over there, but there's an airplane over there. Uh, so there you go. Someone also was, was asking about the um, the airplanes on my ceiling. There we go. So let's see if I can do this right. Nope, nope this way, this way. Nope, up, over. Okay, that one is a 777-200. That is a 737-700, and that one way back there is a Boeing 314 flying boat. And then you saw when I panned around when I was looking at the Legos. What is that? I have a P-51 and an F-111 odd Vock on the ceiling on the other side. So yeah, it's been nothing but Legos upon Legos, and then this weekend uh, I was busy doing other things that I was outside in the sun all day, and I don't think I'm sunburned, but... Um, I'm totally whooped. It's like I got home and I was like, oh my god, I gotta do other things. Oh crap. So, yeah, it's been, it's been crazy busy and work is crazy busy and life is crazy busy. Um, oh, showed these things to you guys last week and I completely forgot about them because they're really, really cool. Um, because I got them at the Titan Missile Museum down in Tucson. There is a three ruble note. And there's a five ruble note. Isn't that cool? There's something, there's the front of this thing here. There we go. And so there's the front of the five ruble note. Is that not really cool? So I got some, I got some more rubles. These are Soviet era rubles um, from the Titan Missile Museum down there in Tucson. Pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. Um, and then I've got to ship one of my toys back because it got recalled. I've got a, oh, it's on top of, it's on top of everything. But I've got a uh, uh, Nvidia Shield. And they all got recalled, so I have to uh, back up my shield, which I have to figure out hmm, how to do that. Um, I still have to charge it, because apparently I've left it discharge, which is good, because the problem is battery fire. Uh, <laughs> I have to charge it enough to back it up and then send it back to them, which sad panda. Oh, good thing happened this weekend, or this past short amount of time. In case you didn't know. Fallout Shelter. I'm trying to get it to show up on the screen really well. Fallout Shelter on the uh, Android. So anybody who's been like pining for Fallout Shelter on the Android, it's out and available. So um, don't get it if you don't need to waste an incredible amount of time, because you will waste an incredible amount of time. I will promise you that. I wanted to put it on my Android tablet. At least I can't now. Um, well, I can when they send me my new one. So really, that's what I've been doing. Not a lot. I've got, like, it's just like... like oh, my goodness. Ugh. Like, I literally have stuff from new sets, like an airport. That's got to be built yet. Old sets. 
Like the old Shell gas station. That still has to be built as well. I would go get some of the other sets, but honestly, they, they don't have men because there is a box. There are boxes of men. And these boxes right here, yeah, that happens to be the box of gray. It's a lot of gray. Not nearly as much gray as white, black, and red. I hate white, black, and red with a passion. In fact, when I pan, there's that trunk with the lamp on it. That's because of trying to find black pieces is literally impossible because of the shadows that they cast. So I hate white, black, and red because they are the worst pieces in the world. But that's just my personal problem with Lego this week. <laughs> that's really all I've got. It's just been like Lego pretty much all week long. Well, that's not true, but Lego, Fallout, Shelter. Yeah. Now I'm just going to make my funny faces, so let's stop now before I make too many funny faces. Um, I do have more of these things, by the way, which I might at some point show. They're all they're all over the house. This is great, because DOS is like, really? Your planes, they're full of dust. No. Yeah. Crap. I'm going to go dust my planes. <sighs> I probably need to go dust my planes. I did write dust me on, on, a, on a glass shelf unit downstairs that has all my planes on it, so I probably should just dust the shelf before I get in trouble. Ah, well, there you go. All right. Hopefully you uh, you enjoyed my little uh, my little Lego Lego trip. Oh, here's what I wanted to say. Um, if you have Lego, what is the oldest print date on a set of Lego instructions you have? So if you have, hold on. So if you have a small set of instructions like this. You can usually look towards the bottom of one of these, like this one here. Let's see if we can get that to show up. Will you focus on that? Focus. There we go. That one is 1985. I promise you that's not the oldest one I've got. <laughs> that one's 1985, and it is a one-man loader. Ooh. Set 6631. Ooh, down there to be built. So if you have Legos, what's the oldest print date on your instructions? If you don't have Legos, go buy some. I mean, you can get, like, really cheap. Ah, it's all the way over there. I got a really cheap moon buggy not too long ago. It was, like, $3.99 U.S. Um, so you can always do that. And then you'd have Lego. Anyway, if you've got Lego, put your uh, oldest print date instruction. Next week I'll try to find mine. I think I know which one it is. Um... But I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look. All right. Until then, uh, have a good week. Game on. Be awesome. And play Legos! I know. It's Lego, not Legos. But most Americans say Legos and most Europeans say Lego. This is a, this is a different discussion for a different day. Bye!